Hello, Darren. Hi, Darren. Would you like to do another short drawing exercise from my yes, art? Please. <laughs> yes. Uh, well, this one's um, quite simple. We just draw with our wrong hand. Okay. Which you do sometimes anyway, right? Occasionally I do, yeah. I'm going to yeah. draw um, this bell. Before okay. I draw this bell, would you and the viewers at home like to see my bell? Yes. I'm going to take you on a little tour. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Now, what do you suppose this part of my flat is referred to as? I mean, it has loads of bells <laughs> and it's at, it's at the end of my flat. So there's loads of bells. What do you think this part of the flat's called? Well, it's obviously bell corner, isn't it? Clanger corner, very close. Oh, Clanger corner, of course it is. Yeah, I can't think of anything else you'd call it. <laughs> so what have I done now? Here we go. You've done nothing. It's all. It's we can still see you. I'm wondering how long this will take. Drawing with my wrong hand usually takes quite some time, you know. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I, 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 don't I, am, I am not used to it. Okay. No. Oh, oh man, it's so weird already. I know, it's, it sounds like, how do you hold it? I have to hold it in my normal hand and then yeah. and then kind of check yeah, okay. how I would normally do it. Yeah. My camera's falling down anyway. Well, let's do it at that angle then, very strange angle. Okay. Have a circle. Yeah, I showed you a... Uh, a drawing of Peter Cushing I did earlier on with my wrong hand. And to make matters even more difficult, I drew that with a dip pen. But I feel that the pen itself forces you to sl to go slow because you're constantly running out of ink and, you know, refilling the nib. And I think that's the key when you're drawing with your wrong hand to go slow. Then again, I bet there's exercises where you have to draw with your wrong hand, but it's got to be quick. Well, another day we could do that thing of um, drawing the same object over and over, but yeah. in a decreasing time frame. Yeah. I do sometimes switch switch hands mid drawing if um so i'm doing some lettering and stuff's in the way sometimes it's just easier to draw with the other hand uh, see i'm become much more of an interest in what you're doing this time i oh, do want to look at what's going on on your screen and uh you're drawing a camera. I am. It's a Holger, Holger 120, old plastic film camera. See you know what's also funny is I'm occasionally keep thinking I'm doing the last exercise we did. The last exercise we did was the video where we did continuous line drawing, and occasionally I'm forgetting and I'm still doing continuous line. Well, but I, I think, you know, because often the continuous drawing, all these exercises kind of feed into one another, and particularly the blind contour one and the continuous line drawing uh, have got a lot in common. Another exercise I thought of is that one of um, drawing negative space. Right, yeah. Which, when uh, I was taught that exercise at art college, I, I, I couldn't even understand what they were doing. I had to constantly re-explain it to me. I was like, I don't, I don't understand what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit thick. <laughs> I 
I am interested in, I can see the worth of the other two lessons. Um, I do wonder what, what you learn from this one. I mean, for some artists, it may be they discover that they're actually, this is the way they want to keep drawing. It's a, it's a, it's a, another way of uh, removing control from you, I think, and letting your, your hand be in charge and letting accidents happen. I think all of them just make you view drawing in a different way, don't they? Yeah. I mean, God forbid one of us should lose our good hand. Yeah. But if I did, you know, I would immediately, without hesitation, start doing this. Yep, definitely. There's no, there's no way the loss of just one hand is going to stop me, you know, doing this, nope. drawing for the rest of my life. Presumably there's cases of that happening like an artist losing the good limb, relearning. I mean, there's my left foot, of course, I suppose. Yeah. Have you tried painting uh, with the like, brush pen in your mouth? No. Have you? It's very difficult. We can't do a foot video. No. <laughs> I've got a bit of a problem with feet. Fucking disgusting things. As my one or two tweets every spring, when the sandals and flip flops come out, will attest to. <laughs> <laughs> Always go into a little depression once it's flip flop season. <laughs> I need some new slippers. Decided, going to get some really ridiculous, fluffy ones. Because I'm um, getting cold already. Uh, yeah, we don't wear slippers down south. No, well, you, you won't need to in the uh, balmy subtropical uh, climate that you live in down there. <laughs> it was that drawing club once when, uh, I don't know what it was, it was just a certain time of year when we could see out of each other's windows, you, yeah, me here, you in Bolton, and then Duncan and Sarah are in Edinburgh, and you could see, you know, how different the light was, you know, you think we're all on the same. Yeah. I was I was dusk in Edinburgh. It was still basically daylight, and it was dark down down south. <laughs> wow, that line then that took me three attempts. <laughs> I'd lost <laughs> a hand, which would not go where it want, where I wanted it to. I mean, like the, the pen I've chosen is giving this a very graphic look. How the, much longer have you got to go? You got a bit, bit to go. Ages, you? got ages. Okay, to I'm, go. I'm, yeah. I'm going to get a, another couple of bells. Okay. Very give much like the sound of it. Yeah. Oh, look at that. That's freaky, yeah. that one. I've got a few of these. I've got a bigger one as well. Do they have a special name? Uh, I think it does, but I might have forgotten. I think they're often on often on elephants in India. Right. Uh, a couple of these were got from India. Quite a lot of my bells were got from India. I had to stop myself because... Uh, I was worried about getting the, the baggage home, you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's one amazing, massive one of these that was brass about that size, and I just 
couldn't conceive of how I was going to get it home if I brought it. <laughs> I'm going to Berlin the day after tomorrow. Oh, yes. You got a gig there, right? Yeah, I got a gig on Saturday. Uh, but I'm going in on Wednesday and coming back Sunday. Very exciting. What well, did, did did you ask? Did you book the gig, or did they contact you? Um, an intermediary made it happen. Uh, yeah, Paul Richards, who does a little dance club, indie dance club down here called Scare to Dance, and puts on some of my gigs, has had a little uh, kind of sister club which he takes over to Berlin every now and then, and. As such, he knows a promoter there and sometimes says, oh, would you like this guy to come over? Oh. Uh, my no, friend... Go on, sorry. My friend lives in Berlin. All right. Um, for most of the time. he um, He's a touring musician, plays with um, musicals and stuff. Okay. And he went over there on some trip and met met a girl there. Oh, lovely. And uh, she was... Um, the personal assistant to Vim Vendors, ah, film director, yeah, and um, he married her last this year, a couple of months ago. Um, and they most yeah mostly lives in Berlin when he's not touring with uh, Billy Elliot and stuff like that. Vim Vendors is a. Uh kind of quite tied into my love of Berlin, actually. Right. The film Wings of Desire and... I've not seen one Vin Vendor's film, and I reckon I'd enjoy them. I uh, think you it's should... Lazy. I think you should see Wings of Desire, because... Um, yeah. It has uh, Peter Falk in it. Yeah, and I do fancy it. It, it does say, like, if I was going to pick one, it would be that one. Yeah. I mean, who has ever seen Peter Falk not be brilliant in anything? Exactly. Did he direct um, Paris, Texas as well, Vin Vendors? My mind's gone blank. I think so. Duh, duh, until the end of the earth, didn't he? Which was... Um, I think he did do Paris, Texas. And Bruno Gantz is That's also the guy. Design. Yeah. He of the uh, Hitler meme. Of course, yeah. I love that. What's he famous for? The meme, not the film itself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to just keep getting bells until you're done. I'm close to finishing this. I'm not doing everything. Don't like um, the bottom part of this, but it is what it is. I've done it now. So many of the bells are pretty ladies. <laughs> it looks like Matthew Hopkins from here. It does, yeah, but um, yeah, normally ladies. God, that'd be good, wouldn't it? A Matthew Hopkins bell. You could name <laughs> your price for Heyman, couldn't you, if you found a yeah. Hopkins bell? <laughs> That is very distorted, that camera. There we go.
I'm just going to do this strap on the other side and then I'm done. I remember, I remember the first time I heard someone say that to me. <laughs> I'm a bit sort of distressed about how the picture is all down here. No, oh, well, I kind of like that space. You know, always uh, crop, cut it, crop it. I've sometimes thought that what Clanger Corner needs is a really big bell, really big, just mounted above it, a real big yeah. rope. Just going to colour that. And this. Done. Done. Well done. Let me bring mine up to the... Very nice. They're lovely. Uh, well, I hope someone is inclined to uh, do their own. Yeah, on YouTube, can you uh, post a picture in the comments? No, you can't. Uh. Okay, well, I guess if you do do it at uh, um, home, post it, maybe tweet it at us, one of us. Yeah, that would be good. Our um, or, or Instagram or something, yeah. Our, our Twitter handle is on um, the YouTube channel, but if, okay. in case anyone isn't sure, it's just our name, at Brentwood Tuxedo. Hmm. Yeah, we'd love to see what? them. At Brentwood Tuxedo. What, all one word? All one word, yeah. No one had it. No one had it. It's, it's amazing, isn't it? What are the chances of that? Um, are you getting uh, spammed um, adverts for Tuxedo? I am. No, I'm not. Yeah, no. I'm getting like lots of formal dress wear things. And... <laughs> <laughs> okay, brilliant. Bye, Darren. Excellent. Bye, Darren.